Welcome back, friends and neighbors, to another networking video here with your host, Professor Bruce Hartpence from Rochester Institute of Technology. Now, we've been going through a series of IP version 6 videos and lectures, and I was going to do some VoIP stuff in celebration of my newest title from O'Reilly, but I think what we're going to do instead is sort of polish off IP version 6 by talking a little bit about ICMP version 6. So without further ado, here we go. Now ICMP version 6 is very similar to ICMP version 4. They both have informational messages and they both have error messages. Uh, if you want to do some really in-depth reading, about ICMP version 6, you can find it in RFC 4443, uh, or you can take a look at Chapter 8 in the Packet Guide to Core Network Protocols, which is where all of the IP version 6 and ICMP version 6 discussion is contained. Now, there are a couple of differences between ICMP version 4 and ICMP version 6, most notably that ICMP version 6 takes a much more active role in topology and discovery. Uh, so that's really what we're going to talk about today, uh, and we're going to focus on that, uh, you know, the neighbor solicitation and the router solicitation processes. All right, uh, some examples of ICMP version 6 error messages would be packet too big and the familiar destination unreachable. Now, these are examples of packets that are generated because something you did that can't be processed. So, packet too big is that fragmentation thing, right? So, you send a packet into the network and it can't be fragmented, meaning that the MTU or a maximum transmission unit is too large. And so, the router kicks the packet too big message back. The destination unreachable message, that's very similar to the ICMP version 4 messages that we have which says hey look the router doesn't know how to get to the destination information messages include the echo request and echo response but there's a couple of other ones that we're going to talk about uh, later on and again our focus today is going to be the neighbor discovery or really the neighborhood discovery because we're also talking about a router well here are some example frames and you can't tell very much from looking at this list, but you can see that there's a lot of different kinds of ICMP version 6 messages, some of which don't exist at all in ICMP version 4. Now, in case I haven't been real clear, ICMP version 4 goes with IP version 4, and ICMP version 6 goes with IP version 6. On this frame, I've also included an example of an error message, and so an ICMP version 6 error message is treated in the almost exact same way that an ICMP version 4 message is. And by that I mean that you can see that if you look at the encapsulation, you see the IP header, you see the ICMP version 6 header, and then you see another IP version 6 header. And all that means is that, hey look, you generated this particular IP version 6 frame or packet, and I can't deliver it. So I'm going to generate this error message, and oh, by the way, I'm going to encapsulate the very thing that caused the message to be generated. So it lets the host know why it's getting this error message. All right, so on to some of the informational message types that we see here. And these are really special to us because these are part of the neighbor discovery process. And really, there's five that are become important to us. The router discovery the router solicitation, the neighbor discovery, and the neighbor solicitation. In here also is the redirect message that gives you an idea of where you're supposed to send stuff instead of where you did send it. So if you're looking for a particular destination and you should send it to a different router, the redirect is there for that. Now there's other messages, but these are going to be, again, our focus today. Now here is a short list of the router and neighbor advertisements and solicitations. And in this particular slide, I've also provided one example of the neighbor advertisement. And in here, you can see that really what we're trying to indicate is that this host is a neighbor, meaning that it's reachable on your link. That's a really important idea in IP version 6. 
the idea of a link and what you can touch directly. Uh, and then we get the link local address for this particular neighbor. And again, that ties right in with the scope of this particular message. It's also important to note what's not here. And that is that this is not a router advertisement, meaning that this particular node is just your neighbor and it's not going to handle any traffic for you. Now here's an example of a router advertisement. Again, we see that we've got the link local addressing uh, for this particular router, but because this is a router advertisement, we now know a particular node is willing to handle traffic for us. And if you remember back at that topology discussion, when we were tearing through the IP version 6 topology construction, what we saw is that as we started to configure nodes and routers with addresses, we saw messages starting to be generated as, as a result of the configuration. And then the routing table of the host could be populated, and our knowledge of the network upon which we operate uh, grows and increases. Well, I think that'll about do it for this particular video. Again, it's just a short one to sort of close up the topic. Remember that ICMP version 6 goes with IP version 6, and probably one of the more important processes involved with, uh, or that involves ICMP version 6, is this neighbor and router discovery that lets us know who's around us, the link local addresses, and how we might get off of our, our local network. Well, thanks again for watching. Thanks for listening. Remember that this was Chapter 8 in the Packet Guide to Core Network Protocols. I've also got a Packet Guide to Routing and Switching out there, and coming out very soon, in March actually, is going to be the Packet Guide to Voice over IP, which should be a really good read. Remember, you can keep an eye out for more Packet of the Week stuff. I'll be picking those back up again. And you can go to BruceHartFence.com for additional content. I am including files and descriptions out there, so please avail yourself of those resources. Thanks again for watching, thanks again for listening, and may your packets always reach their destinations.